features. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. The balloon. No way! You'll miss for sure. No problem. <laughs> Anybody can do that. But I bet you can't do it if you tried bouncing the ball off the floor first. Just look. Oh, what are my parents gonna do to me? Maybe we should call Simka. Simka! And what's Simka gonna do to us when she sees this? So, got yourself in trouble, huh? You shouldn't be playing with a ball inside. And now we have your lamp to fix. But how? Only my dad can reach all the way up there. Why just your dad? You have a hot air balloon over there. That doesn't fly. It's just a toy, see? Well, it might be just a toy to you. But for us fixies, it's absolutely real. If an object is lighter than water, it floats up to the surface. And in the same way, if something is lighter than air, it floats upward. Did you know that hot air is lighter than cold air? Well, it is. And that means if you warm up the air in a balloon, it will float up. Hot air balloons use special gas burners to heat up the air inside of them so they will get lighter. And the bigger the balloon, the more people it can take up into the air. I know what you're saying, but where do we get a burner? You think Fixies don't have their own burners? Huh. Sure we've got them. Bring it down here, and I'll go talk to our parents. No, no, and no. The human child must never see us. Listen now, Simka. We already don't approve of him seeing you and Nolik. He won't look. Papas, please. You're the one who told us how you dreamed of flying since you trained to go into space. Yeah. For two years I waited on standby, but I never went up. And you've never flown in a hot air balloon either, honey. So let's call it a deal. I talked them into it. There's just one condition. You can't watch. Okay. You can come in now. Now prepare the burner! Coming right up! Permission for takeoff? Permission is granted! And off we go! Hooray! It's flying! Don't you peek! Turn around! Oh, it was an accident! I'm going to evaluate the damage. Maintaining proper altitude. So, they've reached the spot. Air balloons are really awesome. I wonder, who figured out how to do that? It was the Montgolfiers. The hot air balloon was invented in the 18th century by the Montgolfier brothers from France. In those days, there were no gas burners, so they heated the air inside the balloon by burning straw. At first, there were no passengers on their balloon. Not counting the fixies, of course. I mean, how else could a balloon get up in the air without them? Unfortunately, the names of the first fixies who took that flight were not recorded in the annals of history. Following the fixies' flight, the next passengers were animals. A ram, a rooster, and a duck. And it was not until those three safely landed after flying a full four kilometers that humans dared to fly in hot air balloons themselves. Ever since their invention, hot air balloons have also gone by another name, Montgolfiers. Hooray! Tadish! Tadish! All right. Simka, please let your parents know that I'm so very thankful. Okay, by the way, now you can turn around. You know, Simka, 
Let's fly the balloon just like them. There's no way, Nolik. We would need to use the burner, and kids aren't allowed to play with fire. I'll give you a ride. Look, I still need to put it back up on the shelf, so climb in and let's do it. They need to learn to save us from disasters. There isn't one appliance that they don't know about. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. Batteries. be a strong and splendid tree. <laughs> She's talking with a flower pot. <laughs> oh, you scared me. <laughs> Do you like it? Like what? My seedling. Don't you see? It will grow into a huge tree. And there, amongst the green leaves, will be beautiful yellow lemons. Class! From that thing, lemons? <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll grow into a tree. All it needs for that is to gather energy. Get energy from where? From our sun. <laughs> the sun? It'll be so slow. Oh, batteries would be faster than the sun. Batteries? I really don't think so. Tula, do you know how much energy they have? Let's just bury a bunch of those batteries in here, and you'll be watching your lemon plant shoot up into a tree. Are you positive? Absolutely. And where can we get the batteries? Over there. Professor Eugenius has a whole box full of them. Batteries! Batteries! We use them every day and need them by the ton. the first lemons before the week's over. The first battery in the world was made in Italy more than 200 years ago. When two different kinds of metal were placed in salty water, electricity started flowing through a wire from one piece of metal to the other. Many years have passed since then, but batteries still work in pretty much the same way. Today, you can find batteries being used for electricity just about everywhere. Tiny batteries are used inside of wristwatches, while big batteries can power cars and even ships. With new batteries being produced by the millions, we have to think, how should we get rid of the old ones? You can't just throw away batteries because they'll poison our soil and water. The best way to dispose of batteries is to take them to a special collection station that sends them to factories for recycling. Yes, yes, it's a terrible idea to bury batteries. You can kill any plants that are growing there. <gasps> and this is the very reason why Professor Eugenius puts all of his used batteries in that box over there, so he can dispose of them properly. Hey, where are they? Oh, my seedling, we harmed you. What? Where are the batteries? They're in the flower pot. How come? So the lemons would grow faster? From the batteries? Who came up with that idea? It will die! Hurry! We gotta go save it! Huh. The soil's contaminated. We've got to find a new home for the seedling. But where? Over there. There's a pot with healthy soil. Let's do it! Batteries!
<laughs> Don't cry, Tula. The seedling will be perfectly fine. It will grow big and strong with branches full of beautiful lemons. And oranges. And watermelons. It's a lemon tree fire. Will you ever stop going too far, like with the batteries? Well, anyhow, batteries are cool, right? Look how many appliances can't work without them. You're right. Appliances can't work. Look, the seedling's coming back to life. <gasps> it really is. Tula, tell us, isn't it splendid? <gasps> splendid. Please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. Yeah. Ha ha! Tag. Now you're it. Simka, I'm stuck. Help me. Just stay still. Oh, you're really stuck. Simka, we're not gonna leave me, right?